My name is Dan Berlin and I'm here to run the entire Inca Trail all in one day with Team C possibilities and I'm legally blind. My name is Allison Qualter Berna. I am a part of Team C possibilities. I met Dan at a half Ironman through my friend Charles. Hi, my name is Charles Scott. I'm an author, adventurer, and speaker. And I uh, do all kinds of crazy adventures with my children. Uh, we've cycled over 7,000 miles around the world, write books and articles about those experiences. And I also guide my blind friend, Dan Berlin, on crazy endurance challenges, one of which was running across the Grand Canyon and back nonstop. Um, my name is Brad Graff, and uh, day after tomorrow, I'll be guiding, helping to guide Dan Berlin on the Inca Trail. Um, Brad said we should really do Machu Picchu as our next adventure. Okay, cool. That sounds good. And Dan said, wait, aren't there a lot of steps? And Brad said, no, there are not that many steps uh, on the Inca Trail. This is fine. I kind of floated the idea, you know, Dan's first reaction was, I hear there's a lot of steps. And, and, and while there's, there's some discussion about what exactly I said, I, I seem to have said something like, well, there's a few steps, but, you know, maybe not, you know, that bad. Um, you know, the, the guides are telling us there really are a lot of steps. No, I mean, I heard that uh, this Inca Trail Marathon is considered one or inside of one of the five hardest marathons in the world. Yeah, yes. How high is the second and third pass? Okay, the second is about... Uh, the third pass is about 12,000. Okay. Uh, the second is 12,9. 12, 12,9. 12, nine. And the okay. first is 13,7. Yeah. Six inches or... Micro okay. mini. We might want to just tell you that height. Well, what that. worked really well going down for this, Brad and I figured this thing out, where I just hold his back, like yeah. right behind yeah. his pack. Yeah. Yeah. And if it's wide enough to go side by side, just locking forearms is really good to step forearms, down yeah. together yeah. the way you and I went out. Yeah. Okay, after that, down for five minutes. And after that, it's going to be like this, all the way to Guayabamba. The decision of making it one day, it's been unbelievable. Lucy knows because we were in constant contact with that. The authorities, they, it took us years to explain them why you w wanted to do this. It was for them, it was the why they want to build all this track in just one day. It was a whole process because it's, it's even for us, it, it's been oh, it's, it's such a great thing to do and it's such a big challenge to achieve in one day. So, so just don't feel bad if you don't do it in one day. However, as you said, your mentality must be focused on where you're gonna make it. Because we talked with uh, a guide who has. Uh, hiked the Inca Trail to Machu Picchu 215 times and he said that what we're planning to do is not impossible but the authorities he's spoken with think we're kind of crazy <laughs> to try it not the least of which with a blind person so I think it's going to be a challenge. Now that I'm in Peru the altitude is more intense than I think I thought. I had a pretty ripping headache yesterday and a little water and sleep and some calm rest today helps. You know, one of the things leading up to coming to Machu Picchu and running the Inca Trail is really the idea of, um, in the U.S., it's always looked as a tourist destination, a place where people get off the bus and they go tour around the ruins and then they get back on the bus. So I had this impression of the Inca Trail as, um, you know, a, a pretty significant challenge, but something that um, lots of people were able to do. Uh, after being here a couple days in the Andes, learning a lot more about it, seeing the elevation, it's a little more intimidating. I realize what a challenge this really is, and um, dealing with the elevation, dealing with the um, surface changes for me, dealing with the, the varied terrain that we're going to be running through, and um, I think it's a, a much more significant challenge maybe than I actually had coming into here. Yep.